Hello everyone and welcome to Dino Outdoors. In this video, I'm going to introduce the 7 inch tabletop smokeless fire pit from East Oak. I'll start off with a quick unboxing to show you what's all included when you purchase your fire pit. I'll go over the assembly as well as the details of this fire pit and then we'll take it outside and give it a test. So stick around. All right, let's get the seven inch fire pit out of the box. Comes with a silicone pad for the base, a handy cover for your fire pit when not in use, the lid of the fire pit itself. Finally, we have the fire pit, seven inch in the steel. We have the fire lotus base and your user's manual. This silicone pad is for the base. This will allow you to set your fire pit on top of a tabletop. Next, we have the fire pit base. This is what allows the heat to dissipate. Next, we have the fire pit ring top. This will sit on top of your fire pit once the fire is going. It includes a handy storage bag for when your fire pit's not in use, a user's manual, and finally, we have our seven inch tabletop smokeless fire pit. Now I'll go over the assembly process. Then I'll go over the specs as well as the details of the smokeless fire pit. All right, to begin assembly, locate the ashtray. This part sits on the bottom of your smokeless fire pit and it collects all of the ash after your fire has burnt. So set that in there. Next, you want to find your third burn. This is like a chimney. This here has four little legs that stick out of it. This is going to sit inside of here and locate the grooves, line them up, and it'll sit in there just like this. You have your fire pit top. If you're going to be setting it on top of a table, you want to put your Silicone pad down, put your heat dissipation base, and set your fire pit on top of it. Your smokeless fire pit is now ready for a relaxing evening. This fire pit measures seven inches deep by seven inches wide by 10.1 inches high. It is made from a 304 stainless steel and weighs just a little over four pounds, making it a perfect portable tabletop fire pit. This fire pit offers a unique smokeless design. It implements a triple combustion, providing 135% more oxygen intake, making it easier to ignite, burning faster and fully, allowing a smokeless state, all while providing a nice, strong, and warm flame. Now let's get this fire pit outside Get it lit and see how well it performs. All right, now we're outside. I'm gonna do a couple tests with this fireplace here. The first test is gonna be to see how quickly it lights and how fast it gets up to the secondary burn. And then the second test, I'm gonna use my heat gun and I'll check the output temperature of the flame. Then I'll hit the heat gun on the side of the fireplace to see how hot the outer temperature gets of the ring here. And then we'll check the temperature at the base to see the temperatures down here to see if there is any hazards of using this tabletop fireplace on a plastic or wood material that could possibly ignite. So let's get this going. So we got the ring off. We're gonna roll up some paper, just place it in the bottom. all the way around the bottom ring here. Gonna insert some small pieces of Kinley that I have. Just gonna add a couple from the start and then once the fire gets going, we're gonna add some more. 
once I get the fire lit, I'm gonna hit the start button on my timer and time how long it takes to get to a secondary burn where it starts to become smokeless. All right, starting the timer now, the fire is lit. Put the top ring on it. You're gonna see a little smoke until that gets warmed up inside and you get a nice fire going. Once that outer ring heats up, it should start a secondary burn and become smokeless. As this fire starts to go, I'm going to keep adding a little bit more kindly wood to it. The key here is not to smother it. Wait for it to burn to start and then keep adding your wood to it. We're three minutes into it now and we're starting to get a nice flame. So it seems to light pretty easy. That's our first test. Just use three pieces of paper and some kindly. Now we're starting to get a nice flame coming out here. Add some more wood to it. piece is a little bit big but we'll see how it does here. I'd like to know too that that inner piece can also be removed, that third burn. You can take that chimney out of there if you want to add larger pieces of wood. And we pretty much have an almost smokeless free Fire, I think that big chunk on top is causing it to smoke a little bit yet. That needs to be down inside so that smoke can burn off before it reaches the top. And we achieved a secondary burn now fully. I can see the flames coming out of the hole. And we're at five minutes and 36 seconds. Five minutes and 40 seconds and we've achieved a smokeless fire here with a secondary burn happening. So within five minutes, you can achieve a really nice fire, almost smokeless, and add a little more wood to it. Back this up a little bit so you guys can get the effect of the whole fire here. It is putting off a really nice flame. All right, now for the next test. I'm gonna get out my heat gun and we're gonna check the output of the flame temperature, check the sides and check the base. So let's check the flame section here. <laughs> it says high. So I think it's going over the amount that my heat gun can output. At the top, at the very ring, it's over 700 degrees. So it's getting over 800 degrees flame. 
when you come down onto the side at the middle part here, you can see that uh, little, I don't know if you guys can see that little laser dot on there at the very top. It's 500 degrees, one inch down, it's 300 degrees. Halfway down, it's 170, 180. When you get down to the East Oak label there, it's 140 degrees. The base is only 93 degrees and right below it showing 75 degrees. So you have no problems with this setting on top of a tabletop. It shouldn't cause any damage no matter which type of tabletop you're using. Our temperatures today outside this evening are coming down to 34 degrees. It's a pretty calm day as you can see by the flame and the temperature I can feel about three feet back. I can feel a nice warm heat, <clears throat> excuse me, coming off from this fireplace. So not only does it give you a nice ambient light, relaxing light for your parties and evenings, it also gives off enough heat to keep you and your guests warm and then be able to enjoy the outdoors. That secondary burn is really working and now you can see the third burn coming. I'll show you guys that up close. If you look down in there you can see a secondary burn coming from the outer ring as well as a third burn coming from that center piece. Really no smoke at all coming off of there now anymore. And I haven't added any wood for the last five minutes. It's been burning pretty steady with a nice high flame and plenty of heat so that you can enjoy the outdoors when it's cool at night. Here's a look at the inside of the fire pit 40 minutes after I last fed it any wood. It's still got a nice set of coals going. It's still putting off a lot of warm air. This fire pit is definitely the perfect size for a small gathering or just you and your family to sit around on those cold evening nights. One last thing that I do want to mention is even though there's just a little bit of coals left in there, this outer ring still is very hot, so don't try to lift that off. Um, once your coals are completely extinguished, usually after you know a few hours, make sure there's no hot coals left in there. You can remove this outer ring. You can pull out that center ring, and then the ashtray will just pick up right out of there for easy cleaning. Well, thanks for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This seven inch smokeless fire pit from East Oak gives off a nice warm and ambient lighting for any nighttime or evening gathering with your friends or family. If you guys are interested in checking out this product, I'll have a link in the description. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments section. As always, thanks for watching and remember to get outdoors with Dino. You're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me